skincare, face, our skin, that precious external organ that we seem to pamper with so many products, but what are we really putting on our skin? Would you eat what you put on your skin? In today's video, I share with you my simple facial skincare routine that is non-toxic and has saved me a significant amount of money over the years. It is simple, straightforward, healthy, and a money saver as well as a time saver for time after all is still money or as I like to call it my life energy that I sell to someone else to be able to pay the bills stick around towards the end I will reveal three little secrets that have helped me get rid of my acne for life which means that I have also balanced my hormones Let's dive in. Disclaimer, this is not medical advice. I share my experience with bad acne and hypersensitive skin and what I did to solve the problem instead of applying Band-Aid solutions. There are individuals out there with genuine medical skin conditions and should therefore seek proper medical advice from a licensed physician and dermatologist. Also, please be aware of any allergies you may have, the quick and easy stuff. Topical applications. Here are the four topical applications that I do use for my skin on my face. Number one, clean water. For most of us in developed countries, this may seem like a no-brainer, but I do not take clean, sanitized water for granted when I turn on that tap of mine. Number two, non-toxic soap. The soap I use is ethical, fair trade, made from very pure, simple ingredients, made from 100% natural ingredients that are in their natural form, not hurting anyone. Number three, raw organic shea butter. Raw, plain, pure, and simple. Moisturizer, oil, anything I put on my skin clogs my pores. No matter how much I wash my face, so far, pure raw shea butter is the only product I can put on my skin. I literally cannot put anything else on my facial skin as I will break out immediately, almost like an allergic reaction. I have tested this with various products from various continents, countries, climates, diets, lifestyles, and I have come to conclude that I do have have the most sensitive facial skin that will only accept 100% natural pure ingredients made by nature unmodified by man. Any product that is sold or marketed tends to suppress my breakouts but then I have to ask the question of is it just a band-aid solution? My face is clearly experiencing some sort of a reaction to what I'm putting on my face but am I artificially suppressing the reaction by putting on all of these chemicals and products on my face when instead I should be looking to the root cause that is causing these reactions and perhaps eliminate the root cause that is causing these reactions. Number four, sunscreen. This is very tricky for me. I also follow the standard sun safety protocol of slip, slop, slap, seek, slide. It's something we are taught from a very young age. That's slip on some clothes that cover us up from the harsh sun. Slop on some sunblock. Slap on a hat, seek shade or cover, and slide under the cover from the sun. The sun in Australia will kill you, but the humans won't. We're super nice. When I live in North America, I tend to avoid sunscreen depending on how much I am outdoors during summer and the conditions under which I am outdoors. In the United States of America, I typically tend to buy natural sunscreen from Whole Foods or Borderline. I do not even use sunscreen because I do not want to have an allergic reaction. When I am home, obviously the situation is different because in Australia, the sun is so dangerous. When I'm home in Australia, I lather on sunscreen like nobody's business in summer. The UV index is super high in Australia because of the hole in the ozone. That's about it on the topical applications. And that's it for my face. Four simple, non-toxic, non-commercial, fair trade, ethically made, supporting local where possible, and products that do not hurt or kill animals or the planet. These products may seem pricey up front, but they last a long time and over the long term have actually saved me a ton of money, dollars, that I have been able to put towards safeguarding my financial future and self-sufficiency. Now the deep, brutal truth. 
I'll share with you some key facts that society will not share that culture has indoctrinated us against, such that even science is willing to ignore the facts. A little bit of background. All my life, I have suffered from acne that has scarred my face to the point of causing me some level of emotional distress and a lack of personal confidence. Additionally, I have the most sensitive skin, which can be so frustrating, not to mention I have combination skin. In winter, my skin gets so dry and in summer, my skin gets a little greasy. But over the years, the variability has dramatically reduced and now my skin is more balanced, which is a reflection of my internal health. Our skin on the outside is a reflection of our health on the inside. Now that we have laid the foundation, here we go. Here are the three most critical lifestyle changes I made to eliminate acne once and for all. Now most may think I'm mentioning this because I am vegan and it's for this very reason I am so reluctant to put this out there. I went vegan for a very different reason that had nothing to do with me or my well-being. The side effect of that was my skin clearing up. There is scientific evidence out there, not to mention just plain old common sense. I always ask myself, why do I do what I do? Is this the right thing to do? For me, for others. Definitely do not take my word on this. Get a panel of medical tests performed before going unprocessed, plant-only lifestyle. Then get a basic medical panel done after six months or so. Women, get your hormones tested before and after. Number one, cutting out dairy. I cut out all animal dairy and next thing you know, in six months, my skin cleared up. My hormones balanced out. I got them tested before and after. And I no longer get acne except for the odd one or two during my menstrual cycle. And the menstrual pain, almost gone. If you can cut out all animal dairy and replace it with plants if you like, you will see a dramatic change in six months, depending on how bad the damage is. Zero dairy policy though. No cheating as that does reset the hormones. At least for me, it did. Number two, cutting out all forms of meat, poultry, seafood, and as I mentioned, dairy. I cut all of this out and next thing you know, my skin glows. Not in a radioactive Homer Simpson green alien way, but in a healthy skin way. So what do I eat then? Plants, unprocessed, that simple. Number three, water. I drink three liters of plain water per day. If we can even manage two liters per day, it would make a huge difference. And no, coffees or teas do not count as a replacement for plain, pure, simple water. That wraps it up. Just like our skin wraps our body into this nice and neatly contained enclosure. Seven very simple take-homes from this video that I practiced to heal my skin from the inside out. Number one. Our skin on the outside is a reflection of our health on the inside. When we are not in harmony inside, it shows up on the skin on the outside. Number two, I stop using fancy, expensive skincare products with fancy marketing and sales. Number three, I use the plain, pure, simple, natural single ingredient. It works. If we will not eat it, then why put it on our skin, right? Our skin is a precious living organ. Number four, I cut out all animal dairy products. Number five, I cut out animal meat, poultry, and seafood. Number six, I eat plants unprocessed. Number seven, I drink plenty of water, plain, simple, pure, around two to three liters per day. What is your skincare routine? How do you plan to simplify it? Can you save precious money and your life energy by simplifying your skincare? There is a certain deep internal satisfaction from practicing simplicity and a certain level of gratitude for this amazing skin that we all have constantly protecting us.